Hi everyone and welcome back to Windows Source Talk Link Tour. Uh, sorry, Windows Source Talk Link Gardening. This is Alex and welcome to my tour, um, part two. So we were just finishing here, I think, and we'll move on to this little tray. So this is um, another lot of propagation. So uh, I'll just grab my little pair of tweezers again. And um, here are all Gratipetal Mirene, all of this lot here. Um, there's a Gratipetal Blackberry in there somewhere. Uh, I'm not too sure which one. And then here we've got another Echeveri Dondo, some Adromiscus, um, some Echeveria Chromas uh, here and here, I think. And then this one is Echeveria Duchess of Nuremberg, and this one is. What's that one called again? Echeveri nodulosa. Now this one doesn't seem to be doing anything, it's just rooted, um, but there's no pups farming, so I'm not really uh, holding my breath on that one. It's been quite a while. And then here we've got another Pachyphyton compactum leaf. Um, Echeveri lilacina. And then these are from leaves that I actually took from the flower spike of this plant so I don't know I just wanted to see whether leaves from a flower stalk could actually propagate and they have very well in fact there's a couple more outside that I'll show you a little bit later that I've been trying in full sun that have worked very well um, so here we've got grapt petal and bellum that's this one here and then this is a sedum oh I've forgotten the name of that one sorry um, Echeveria Black Prince is this one, and then I think that's it. So next up we'll move on to here, so this is my uh, Sedum um, Burrito, or Sedum Morganianum. They're doing quite well, they've put on a decent bit of growth, um, I've been keeping them quite well watered and yeah, they're coming along. And then this is a little Echeveria Satosa, give you a good look at it. Not much to see at the moment, it's still quite small, but um, it's still very early spring, so I'm not expecting massive growth yet. And this is my Crassula Oblica variegate, so this is a tricolour jade. Um, seems to be doing quite well, I actually uh, took it out of the pot the other day, just to try and make it a little bit more upright. And uh, the root system on it's really good, I mean when I first bought it, if you remember back at the video, it was a tiny, tiny little thing, but now it's um, it's really good, so... Look forward to getting some good growth out of that thing. Um, and then we've got Crashula Hummel Sunset, and these two have both rooted as well. Um, not much going on, a little bit of, I don't know if you can see that there, some new some new growth on the smaller one. And then this is my little Adromiscus. Um, I'm not too sure on the exact one. And this guy's taken off, this is my Clototon Tomentoso, as you can see. Quite a lot of growth probably from last month. Um, and then this is my bear paws. This is a. Um, sorry, that one's a Kalankoe Tomentosa and this one's a Coloitodon Tomentosa. Or Lady Smithiensis or something along those lines. It's called bear paws anyway, that's what I know it has. And um, it's doing well. Not much growth on it, but it's doing well and that's the main thing. Um, this guy got a little bit burnt the other day, I think. I had him outside, and uh, you can see a little bit of maybe dark markings on the edge of the leaves, but it doesn't look bad, so, uh, yep. And then this one is uh, an Echeveria that I've forgotten the name of, but it was one of my rare ones that I received recently. Um, so maybe you could look that one up. And then this is Graptopetal and Mirene. As you can see, they've really started to grow quite nicely. Um, hopefully we get a little bit more sun and they get a bit more colour to them. And then that one there is um, Gratipetum claret. So it's growing quite well. Um, an interesting thing about this one actually is, if I just remove it. So I'll give you a good look at it. But as you can see, a leaf is partially disconnected there but it's still actually connected to the stem, and as you can see, there's a pup forming on it. So I've never seen anything like that before, which 
it's really cool. So it, obviously it hasn't sent out its own roots or anything. It's still um, taking all its moisture and stuff from the uh, from the main plant, but it seems like a very easy way to propagate because <laughs> I don't have to water any differently. I just water the main plant. So um, something to maybe try and em emulate yourself because it seems like a nice, easy way to propagate. Um, so there you go, that's that one. Just put that one back. Um, and then there's this one. So this one's created quite a long bloom and the flowers have just started to open up in the last couple of days. Try and give you a good look at those. Oh, my hands are shaking. There you go. So there's about, how many are there? Five blooms that are currently open um, with lots more buds to go. So there you go. Really nice. And uh, this is my unknown Echeverian. It's kind of just coming to the end of its blooming. Um, there's two left there. On that one. And uh, yeah, two left on that one as well, pretty much. So they've been nice. It's been nice to see them bloom. Um, I've just recently moved them into this slightly larger pot because they were just getting really. Oh, the root system on it was so just so root bound it was crazy so I thought right I best best move it over and obviously and actually I've um, repotted this one as well because the old this one was one of the last few ones that was actually in my old uh, soil mix and I just really didn't like it I found it very difficult to know when to water so I swapped it over and it seems to be quite happy so next up I'll give you a little update on the uh, cacti seeds now I had a little bit of an issue with these guys um, you may remember that there were actually two pots, two different varieties. Um, and what I actually did was had these on my bedside table and I knocked it over and they all went everywhere. So um, I'm actually amazed that these are still alive because they all, I had to take them all out of this really humid environment and they all, you know, ended up spilling all over the floor and roots breaking and all sorts. And actually there's only one in there that's looking sick and the rest of them are all doing great. So, uh, I'm very impressed and uh, I look forward to watching those grow. Now this is a new plant as well, this is a uh, Aeonium Kiwi. Now it's not in the best condition but I pretty much got this thing for free um, yesterday so I really look forward to, to watching it grow because they, they look fantastic um, when they get to a good size. So that's everything for this bottom shelf and uh, I'll show you my bedside table. So this is my African violet, which obviously is not a succulent. But they are very succulent and go a very long time without water. Uh, this is my Simbiformis very good. Um, doesn't seem to be doing a whole heap. The pups are growing a little bit, but the main plant itself really isn't. And I really don't like the way that the leaves are flopping down like that. And I think it's because when I bought it, it was extremely dehydrated. And then as it's dehydrated, for some reason it's pushed the leaves down um, you know disappointing hopefully over time it'll correct itself um, this is the Hawarthia cuspidata not growing a whole heap um, but it looks very healthy and down here we've got the Hawarthia black majors there's two of them here and they've both rooted and um, they seem to be coming along quite nicely um, and then this one is my uh, Hawarthia pygmae argentio maculosa. Now I've had quite a lot of trouble with this thing. Um, I don't know why. Maybe a little bit of overwatering on my part, uh, which is funny because it's in pretty much pure pumice. But um, and I've not been watching it very often at all. But it just doesn't seem to be drinking. Um, so what I'm going to do now is just leave it in this dry soil. Wait till I really start to see some shriveling in the leaves and then I'll water it and then I'll, I can be pretty confident that the root system will be um, ready for it, I guess. Um, I've also been having a few issues with this thing as well. This is the Hawarthia mutica var nigra. Um, the root system seems absolutely fine, but um, I don't know, it just doesn't seem to want to drink up much anyway. Um, but I'm, again, with this one, I'm going to leave it, I'm going to let the leaves really dehydrate and then uh, we'll go from there but it's it, I mean it seems healthy enough so I'm not too worried and then this is the Hawarthia retusa 
which uh, looks fine. And then I think this is a Horthia Torturosa, uh, something along those lines. And then this is my little um, Horthia Truncata. So you can see just the new leaf forming in the centre. They're very slow growing, so maybe I should make this a uh, a bi-monthly update instead. But this is my new plant, so this is an Easter cactus. So this is a Ripsalidopsis, and um, it's a really nice orange colour, and it's in fantastic bloom at the moment. Lots of buds on it, and uh, yeah, really liking this thing. So that's my bedside table update. And um, I think I'm going to have to make it into like a three or four barter at this rate because we're already ten minutes in. So I'll stop this part here and then we'll move up to the top shelf and, um, and we'll see you again in a second. So thanks very much for watching this segment and join me for part three.